guys, welcome back to Edimoon Tutorials on Database Management Systems. In our today's lecture, the topics that we are going to cover are querying the relational data and we will also see an introduction to views, creating and destroying views. Here I am skipping the logical database design because we are going to have a separate video which is dedicated to that topic only. So let's get started. Fine. Querying relation data. A query can be thought of as a question that we pass to our database and in return we get a result in the form of table containing the details that we want. For example, let us suppose we have a student database and I want the details of the students whose CGPA is greater than 7. So this is a question that I pass to the student database and in return I get a table containing the details of the student whose CGPA is greater than 7. So there is a particular language for writing the queries and there is some syntax to be followed also. So query language is a specialized language for writing the queries or you can say uh, questions that we pass to the database. So SQL is one of the prominent, it's popular commercial query language used for a relational database. Now let's see the syntax that we generally use for writing the queries or the questions that we pass to our database. So in SQL, we use a select statement for querying process. So the syntax goes like this. Select column list from tables where condition. Here in the column list, you can specify the names of the columns you want. Or you can use a wild character that specifies that you want all the details of the table where you don't specify all the columns. But this just say this. Astro just says that you want all the details that means complete details of that particular selected students so in the from list you specify the table here I've specified yes because it can take a number of tables like you can pass the queries in a, from a single table or you can pass this to two tables or three tables anything it, it can be passed to any number of tables and here comes a where condition where you actually specify the filtering condition here in my example the filtering condition is that I want the students whose CGPA is greater than 7 so here in the where clause I will be using uh, CGPA to be greater than 7 so this will be my condition so let me give you some examples right select star from student so this is going to give the details of the students and so this simply gives a entire student table. Let me take next example. Select name from student S. Here S is the alias for the student. Where S dot age is greater than 18. So here this will be writing the result the details of the student who are measures see whose age is greater than 18 so next select star from student this is the example that we have discussed where s dot cgpa is greater than 7.5 so this gives the details of the students who got distinction in the student table so this is how we write a select statement oh, now let's for a single table now let's see how do we write a select statement for a combination of tables so this is an example of applying the select statement on two different tables here are two different tables a student table and an enrolled table where we are equating them with s dot s id is equal to e dot s a student id and these are the similar ones so here and we are comparing e dot grade to be a so basically we are correcting the details of the students who got a grade so this this entire thing gives us a grade students right so here you have to consider one more thing in where class we use operators for comparing the values of the domain right there are two different operators that we can use one are the comparison operators so comparison or you can also say relational operators which are basically less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to or even equal to 
and you can also use logical operators right what are logical operators and or and not you know what and operation is what r operation is and what not operation is right so these are the operators that we use in a where clause generally to filter so to filter the data or the data you want right so this completes the querying the relational database now let's see what are views so view is basically a table whose rows are not explicitly stored in the database but are computed as and when required following the view definition so i don't want to confuse you guys so let me simplify it a view is nothing but it's a computational table or it can also be a virtual table here you select you create a view by selecting some columns or all the columns of a original table and you present it to the user but you are not storing the details separately you are actually you are just collecting the data which is permanently stored and you are presenting it to the user but you are not storing it anywhere else physically so that is why we call this as a virtual table or a computation table which is computed as and when required depending upon the uh, view definition that you specify this is generally used for the security purpose to you know uh, restrict the data access to particular fields of the data right uh, a good example could be uh, the you know the students students are given the final result but they were not given the access to you know view the internal and external marks right so that can be an example of view where you will be only allowed to see the uh, data that is intended for you to see and it it hides the complexity behind it hides the data that is not accessible to you and all so these are the uh, uses and the main reason for using a view so let's see how do you actually create a view that means the syntax that we usually use for creating a view the syntax goes like this create view view name as select column 1 column 2 here it can be a column list from a single table or a collection of tables where condition so let me give you an example right so from a previous example like enroll in student table here i want the details of the students uh sign students view so let me create create view the view name i am supposing it to be sign students i want the columns of course the s name s id and course in which they are enrolled right as select columns right s dot s id s dot s name and e dot course right from what are the table names student s and enrolled e where what is the where condition s dot s id is equal to e dot student id and here comes a main uh, condition which is e dot course to be science because i want the details of the science students so this is how you create a view on the science students so i'm basically selecting uh, s name column certain columns only where s name is id and course from two tables and i'm creating a view which gives the details of the science students so now that we have created a view you should display you should be able to display that view and the syntax that you use to display a view is similarly uh, select star from view name so select star from here this would be select star from sign students so this will return a, a table containing the details of all the sign students you can also select either one column or two columns right so even deleting a view you can delete a view once you have created a view you used it so once it is done you have to delete the view right so to do so use a drop 
command so drop view view name so here drop view sign student once i'm done with this i'm going to delete it so with this statement my view will be deleted and it will be no longer present right see all the other operations you can perform similarly the way you perform in the table like you can view or you can display the table with the similar syntax that you use for a table you can insert into it also you can delete from it but updating a view will be a bit different because here you are actually selecting the data from some other table while you try to update the table you have to satisfy certain conditions if you don't satisfy any one of the condition even then you won't be able to update the data in a table so let us see what are the conditions that we have to satisfy so the first condition is that the select statement which is used to create the view should not include a <coughs> group by or an order by clause so the statement that we are using it should not have a clause a group clause or a order by clause so the second condition is that it should not have a distinct keyword if it is having a distinct keyword you you won't be able to modify it right because it has to be a distinct value so the third condition is that it should not have all not null values the fourth condition is that it should not be created using complex queries or the nested queries nested queries are nothing but the sub queries a query inside a query which implies a complex query so it should not be created with the help of a nested or a sub query or complex query so the fifth and the most important consideration is that the view should be created from a single table if not you cannot update a particular table that is created from collection of tables so if we satisfy all these condition you can update the data so here let us see you use a create or a replace view statement to add or remove fields or columns into a table the syntax goes create or replace the view view name as select column list from table name where condition so this is similar to the create view statement here we are using create or replace if it is not present it will just create a new thing if it is already present it will replace it with a a uh, new thing that you have defined that means see i i have a table i have a view with student name cid and course now i don't want the course id i only want the student name and his sid so i'll create a statement create or replace view view name as select only sid and his name from the table students where the condition is equal to uh sid is less than equal to 5 so i will only get the student details of first five students his name and sid only here i am not including the second table i am only selecting two tables which means i am updating the previous view into lesser number of columns so this is how you update a view which includes removing and adding fields into it so the the remaining things the remaining operations like insert or delete are similar to the delete and insert operation that we perform on a table whose syntax will be similar for inserting we use insert into view view name of the columns and the values that you want to specify for that columns even the delete statement is similar you will be using uh, delete delete from view name somewhere condition right when the insert is also similar so this is all about views creating and destroying views so i'll meet you in the next class where we will be discussing the logical database design till then stay tuned thank you